Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Devolutions HQ. Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, today, uh, we're actually going to do something interesting because last episode, we talked about some of the major security vulnerabilities, right? Yes. And uh, she actually wrote an article, uh, a blog article about a month ago or so, on some of the, uh, some, some ways to help uh, reduce or mitigate some of these vulnerabilities, but we wanted to kind of revisit them and give you five different uh, kind of actionable items and things that we can do. What we can see right now, I mean, how important it is to prevent all of those because we've been seeing them every day. Something new is happening. Yeah. So we can see the importance of doing and preventing data breach and data hack. Absolutely. So let's take a look at the first one. Uh, so the first one is train employees to recognize phishing scams. Yep. Uh, like we've seen uh, with one of the hacks that we spoke about last week, uh, is that it might sometime be someone getting an email. And I mean, they are so good right now yeah. at copying email. Sure. Like they make them look exactly as if it would come for the real company. Yep. And employees will click on links and it is dangerous. In, in fact, we uh, conducted our own, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, good. our own internally. Yes. Our security department didn't tell anybody and they sent out a phishing email internally. They offered a coupon to a local, uh, one of our favorite uh, donut places, Tim Hortons. Uh, and, uh, uh, the idea was you would go, you click on the link and enter then information. enter in your company username, uh, email, and your company password. That's the one that we used to get into everything, right? Yeah, someone did. Click yeah, somebody on the did link. click on it and uh, and uh, he fell prey to the phishing scam. Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. It's a trap. Sure. So it's a great task to do within your uh, enterprise. Now, number two. Number uh, two. All right, it was guard your organizational's physical and technological property with the right tools. So there's some uh, some other software tools that are good at that for vulnerability testing. You so have what was vulnerability a couple of them? management software that will okay. help you uh, to, to scan all of your software, all of your hardware, and see if there is a vulnerability somewhere. Uh, some of those are Rapid7, okay. Nessus Professional. Uh, you have some free one like sure. uh, Nikto or WP Scan. Uh, I would strongly suggest to have one uh, within your organization just yep. to be sure because you can forget some some software that you have, some hard, hardware that you have, yep. and they might be vulnerable. Another one is, I would say, is definitely use some sort of a team-based password manager. Oh, like Devolution Password Server? We, we saw something like that? I we, we saw something like Okay, well that's good. Uh, anyway, definitely. So anything that's a team based, whether you use our software solution or another one, but the idea is it's nice that you may have like the coolest tool and all your passwords are in a vault secured two factor uh, authentication. You've got everything synchronized. And meanwhile, your secretary uh, uses a, 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 a notepad or something, you know, or a sticky note. And, and I'm not blaming secretaries all over the world, but the idea is uh, people that maybe are less IT informed exactly. uh, are more prey to these things. And if they have access to file servers, then uh, you're in Well, danger. they have the keys to the kingdom. Uh, another one is uh, 2FA, right? 2FA. Enabling course. 2FA on, I would say, like every, everything that everything. has a 2FA. I have 2FA for so many applications just to add an extra layer of security. This is from uh, Mar Martin, our CSO. Yeah. But uh, have an action plan. It's nice for us to know, like as an IT administrator, to be like, I know everything and how everything works. But you have to have a plan. What happens when you get? Uh, attacked, right? Because what we've noticed, uh, as it was in one of the attacks, it took them a week to notice that something was happening. Yeah. So really the action plan is a must. Uh, it would be really good to do. All right. Uh, the next, the third one, what is this one? Strengthen uh, your network security. Okay, absolutely. So uh, protect with a VPN. Very important. Uh, there's there's multitude out there. You can sure. There's lots use of great from. solutions. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, purchase and install firewall. Uh, can be software or hardware based. Okay. Yeah. Uh, protect network switches and access point. Uh, put them behind locked doors and and lock up your servers and and access to routers and switches, especially nowadays. One uh, we tend to forget about is actually the Wi-Fi. Yeah. You know how oh, you'll go yeah. in a coffee shop, you'll use your phone, or you even work from a coffee shop using sure. their Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's written right there. Usually it's an unsecured Wi-Fi. Now you have a company 
uh, laptop, tablet, phone yeah. that has your credentials possibly open and then it, all you need is somebody that's on there sniffing or scanning the network. Uh, some guy in it with the hooded sweatshirt in the corner <laughs> 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 sipping a, a double low fat soy <laughs> macchiato, right? Number four was uh, we said stay in the know, yeah. right? So uh, how can people uh, stay current with everything? What are some things? Watch us. Uh, watch our show. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Number one. But uh, some, well, another one would be what? Uh, another one would be a read article. There's actually uh, great tech news out there that you can read, like information security news and sure. the hacker news yep. that will keep you up to date on the latest hack, the latest malware, what to do to protect yourself. In a large organization, you might have a security department. Yeah. But we know how it is with many of our viewers. You are the security department because you're the <laughs> IT administrator, the security department, and the person sure. that fixes the coffee machine too. So the idea though is, is you have to be informed about this. And yes, it's another thing you gotta read, another blog, another thing, but uh, this is a big deal because yeah. this affects everybody in your organization. <laughs> Uh, next one, number five is? Ah, uh, this one you're gonna hate. Uh, keep <laughs> software up to date. Absolutely, yeah. You know, doesn't it seem like Windows updates are like uh, always at the wrong time? This is what I'm talking about. Windows updates. Always. Like before you're about to do a presentation, oh, Windows update, and uh, you I can't snooze, snooze it anymore. That, I will snooze <laughs> yeah. it nonstop. Yeah, exactly. Just like my alarm in the morning. Just snooze it snooze nonstop. It. But the truth is, there's a reason why Microsoft does this and other software platforms and uh, operating systems, uh, whether you're using a Linux or o, uh, Mac OS or, or Windows. But the idea is you wanna keep this up to date because a lot of times they come out with vulnerability uh, patches, security updates because they'll find a flaw or somebody else will find a flaw and they'll they'll fix it. So keep things up to date. Uh, but not just the operating system, you also mentioned the software too. Yep. They do have some too, they have sub, uh, software updater programs like Patch My PC Update, uh, File Hypo, or Third Free. Okay. Uh, we'll actually give you a hand and seeing which uh, software needs to be updated because sometimes you're not aware or you miss that email. So uh, anyway, these are just uh, five ways we thought of some simple ways. And if you want to read the blog article, uh, I'll put it, the link in the show notes as well. Just with little this. tips and tricks little tips and tricks to help you guys out. So if you have any great ones, uh, put your comments in the notes below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week and uh, stay safe out there, right? Thank you guys, stay safe. Okay, bye. Bye.